CXC has revised the CSEC mathematics syllabus with the changes effective for examination from May June 2018. Specimen questions for the multiple choice examination were provided along with the answers. These videos will show the working. It will get you from the questions to the answers. Please attempt each question without using a calculator before proceeding with the rest of this video. Remember that calculators are not allowed in this exam. Question 21. The equation of a line has the general form of y is equal to mx plus c, where x is the independent variable, y the dependent variable, m the gradient, and c the y-intercept. We are given that the gradient is one-third and that the point zero 02 lies on this line. The point zero 02 lies on the y-axis, where y is equal to 2. Thus, the y-intercept is 2. Therefore, the equation of this line is y is equal to third x plus 2. The answer is D. Question 22. G of x is equal to 2x plus 1. The coordinate which satisfies this function will produce the second element of the ordered pair when we substitute the first element in place of x in G of x. Starting with A, G of negative 3 is equal to 2 multiplied by negative 3 added to 1, which gives negative 6 added to 1, which is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 is given as the second element of the ordered pair. Thus, the answer is A. I know you want to make sure, so let us look at the others. For B, G of negative 6 would give 2 by negative 6 added to 1. 2 by negative 6 is negative 12 added to 1, which is equal to negative 11. Negative 11 is not equal to positive 11. So B is not correct. What about C? G of 5. G of 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 added to 1. 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. 10 added to 1 is equal to 11. 11 is not the same as 2. And D g of 13 is equal to 2 multiplied by 13 plus 1. 2 multiplied by 13 is equal to 26. 26 added to 1 is equal to 27. 27 is not the same as 6. So we see that in b, c, and d, when we substitute the first element in place of x and g of x, we do not produce the second element of the ordered pair. Again, the answer is A. The gradient of a straight line is defined as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 given two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Therefore, the gradient of this line, m, is equal to 5 minus 3 over negative 2 minus negative 4. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. And negative 2 subtract negative 4. This is the same as negative 2. And to subtract a negative number is the same as adding a positive number. Adding a number with the sign reverse. So adding 
positive 4. We get 2 over negative 2 added to 4 is positive 2. 2 over 2 is equal to 1. We get that the gradient is equal to 1. The answer is D. Question 24. We are asked to find f of g of negative 2. f of g of negative 2 is the same as f of the result of g of negative 2. So let's work out g of negative 2. g of x is equal to 3x plus 1. g of negative 2 is thus equal to 3 multiplied by negative 2 added to 1, which is equal to negative 6 added to 1, which is equal to negative 5. So it follows that f of g of negative 2 is equal to f of negative 5. f of negative 5. f of x is equal to 2x subtract 3. f of negative 5 is thus equal to 2 by negative 5 subtract 3. 3. 2 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 10. Subtract 3. Negative 10 subtract 3 is equal to negative 13. The answer is A. I am Mr. Dubey. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.